Hello everyone, my name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa, an Autodesk reseller. And today I'd like to focus on something within the full AutoCAD license. It's called Attribute Export and Attribute Import. It's part of the Express Tools, which you'll find as a benefit of having the full AutoCAD license. And you'll see that it's available there under the Blocks panel in the Express Tools tab. So to explain how this works, I'll create a block. Now you can imagine this would represent something like a, a window or a door. It might be a tag that you would like to add to mechanical equipment, whatever it is that you would like to input in, in formation into. And the reason we would want to export and import attributes is so that we can manage the input of data through an Excel spreadsheet. This would allow you, for instance, to start modeling <coughs> or to start drawing, create an Excel spreadsheet, hand that off to somebody that can do data input. Perhaps it is an engineer that needs to do calculations and fill the information in. They can do that on Excel, give the Excel the file back to you and you can then reload the parameters. So how do we do that? We would draw whatever uh, we want and then we would put that into a block. The block tool you can find on the insert menu and you can create a block. We can give that block a name. There's a, there is of course uh, quite a bit of uh, detail that we are leaving out with the creation of blocks but it's pretty straightforward and there we go we've got our block our window block and we create that the upshot of that is that we can edit this block within the block editor and then within the block editor we can then go and add some attributes we do that by going on to the insert menu within the block editor and we will define some attributes here the attribute that we will define, we can make it invisible, constant, verify, preset, there's a lot here. I'm just going to lock the position. It's going to be straightforward, justification left. You'll see there's some nice things that you can do with attributes. <coughs> and then we'll just put there, that's the, that's the window number. That's what we'll use for the first attribute. And we'll place that. And then we'll have another attribute. We might want to put the fire rating on that window, and you know, or maybe some uh, uh, a U value or, or or something like that. Let's let's put a U value. We'll just use some representative values, not realistic values, just to demonstrate. And we'll place that there, and you can input as many attributes as what is necessary for you. Then on the block tab, the block editor tab, we can press on save, save block, and we can then close the block editor. We have to remember to synchronize the block definition with the drawing. We'll select the block to synchronize, and we'll synchronize, and there we can see the information. And we'll then copy this block as well. Let's suppose that we are drawing more than one window. There's one, two, three, three windows there. And then we'll say we want to input the information for this window. We'll double click on that window and input the information. We'll say that's window number W1 with a U value of, I'm just going to use one again just to identify the block. There is the second window. <coughs> we'll input the window number as W2 and with a U value this time of 2. And we'll do the third window as well. There we have window number W3 with a U value of 3. So we can see how that displays. Now we would save the file and we will then use the Express tools to, e to export the attributes. The output file we would call that uh, Windows Data, just for our own reference. 
and we would then select the objects that we would like to export that then will come into the folder and there we can see a text file with looks like tabs that separates the data and we can then open that using Excel open in browse there is our data that we would like to import we'll bring it in as text to preserve whatever is there otherwise the Excel might convert whatever the, there is into something else and we can then go and change this I'm going to increment that by a number of 10 just to demonstrate that we can we'll save that file close check that the data has been updated which it has and then we can go back to Excel and we can import the attributes from our Windows data and there we can see how it identifies the blocks and it updates the blocks values that is exactly what we would like now you can do the same within your own project and of course one of the nice things about Excel is or about uh, AutoCAD is that you can also do if you've got the full license you can do a data extraction you can choose where you want to uh, create data extraction so I'll say you win extract and you can then go ahead and choose for instance to display only blocks with attributes that will isolate that for you and then you can see how it can also identify the information the U value the attribute next and then there you can see the information it will count them for you as well and you can then go next and you can either insert the table or and output the data to another file and complete the process Right, so there's a lot that you can do with attributes within an Excel file, uh, within an AutoCAD file, and you can integrate that with Excel. But at the very least, you can manage the attributes of your blocks using Excel. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time, enjoy AutoCAD.